Because you do Newland also recommends the Malevolent mod. It's a great adventure mod. TVDF doesn't have it installed right now, so he can't show you anything from it. But yeah, you basically put on armor and you do stuff. Hooray! Oh boy. Also, Tears of the Fiend was an excellent mod. Ugh, get all turned around in here. How are you today? But yes. Tears of the Fiend and Malevolent. You'll notice I well, forget, it. I'm not even gonna bring I'm not even gonna bring it up. Oh, I'll go show you something from Chairs of the Fiend. Uh oh! Uh oh! What the crap was that? It did it again! <laughs> Stuck in a loop? Huh. Alright, whatever. Tears of the Fiend it goes through the stories of Cleon, the Butcher of Armandale, as well as Alicia, Alicia Ehothorn, and Captain Blue! No, not Captain Blue. But yeah, basically you go through a little intertwined storyline involving these two, and if you're a good little warrior, or slash spellcaster, slash whatever the crap you want to be, battle mage, yeah! And you play your cards right, you get to keep both of them as, a, as a companions. This is not the armor they are donning, that's from Apophis, which I mentioned in part... One. Uh, actually, this might. This is the ranger armor. I didn't mention that yet. Anyway, and then you also get to keep the Eho Thorn Estate, but there's nothing terribly special about it. It's a pretty standard house. If you know that, uh, what's that guy's name? He's over here somewhere. Uh, yeah, this guy, Lord uh, Rugdump Estate. Then you pretty much know what Alicia's house looks like. As for Malevolent, it has um. Where'd they go? Oh, there they are. Anyway, um, Malevolent, it's really the better written mod because, it, well, maybe not, I, I don't know. I, I ended up liking it the best out of all that guy's mod, but Malevolent, it just has uh, many different uh, ways the story can go. It's, it is a pretty short story by comparison to Tears of the Fiend and Ruined Tales Tale, but at the same time, and uh, this still isn't fixed, whatever the crap it is, I don't know what it is. Huh. Interesting. Anyway. Oh, that means this one's not fixed either. Yeah. I keep losing my train of thought. Anyway. But you can you can pretty much choose to be good, neutral, or evil in malevolence, and that's one of the major appeals for me is that it actually tells well met. three and maybe more than three stories that you can play through. So it's actually got replayability as well. So yeah, choose of the fiend! And malevolent. Our Captain Blue! His robes are from the Lost Spires. Hey, oh, hey, that did fix Red Sonia. Hooray! Get Red Sonia, she's a good companion in ETC. Yay! Hey, Actually, I should want to give a shout out to another companion mod right now, even though I don't have it installed yet because I'm going to go with the custom pack thing and mess around with it a bit. Uh, companion Vilja. Vilja, it might be pronounced. I don't know because people do G's and J's weird like they should. It angers down the Phoenix. Run, Kitty. Zelos is angry. No, oh, okay. Um, compa oh, your face is all messed up. Oh, and I forgot to get rid of the. Or I forgot to put the voices back in. Huh. Your face is messed up too. I wonder why. Someone suggested a fix for that once, but I forget what it is. Hey, guy, please remind me. No, okay. But anyway, companion Vilja. Yeah. Vilja. It's. It looks like it's a very uh, complex companion mod, and you can you can pretty much. It, it expands more than even Bladesong does. Like, there, you can tell uh, Vilja to go to certain places and mark them as, like, your home and whatnot. And it has this customization pack where you can pretty much choose what she looks yeah. like, what, what kind of hair she uses. And it, it's just really intricate what they seemingly put together for this mod. So it might be a little cheap for me to put it on a recommended mods list having not done anything with it yet, but... I really think it's going to turn out to be a fantastic mod, so I'm just going to go ahead and recommend it now. Hello everybody, Cozzy Doom Newland here once again! If you were disappointed with how the main quest made you play the good guy, then this mod is for you, and it's my favorite evil mod called Servant of the Dawn. Servant of the Dawn! 
it basically lets you backstab everything you stood for in the main quest and actually not only join the reviving Mythic Dawn, but eventually become the leader of it as well. And one of my favorite features of this particular mod is you eventually end up with... You, you end up being the complete, uh... Well, you end up being the new High Chancellor of Cyrodiil, pretty much, or the, the, uh, the Empire, pretty much. Now what you can do is, you'll notice I've got a ton of Dawn Acolytes here. Well, basically what you can do is, you go to this guy, and you, you install his voices properly, which I have yet to do. And you go, and you're like, hey, you know, go recruit a new Acolyte, and come back in 24 oh. hours, and there'll be a new guy standing here Thank for you. you. The they, they all have the same face Pleasure. and everything, but... If you've ever wanted a just an endless army, it's my like, like just outfit and different uh, different uh, clothing and whatnot. Yeah. Well met. Here you go. <laughs> They'll just continually Bond spawn these great. things for you. Is and I guess that's also if you're too lazy to make your own NPCs with uh, CM partners. I know I am, but I need to start doing that for the tales of Cyr uh, tales from Cyrodiil skits. Uh, let's go show off... I don't know. I'll be right back. One of the other interesting things about the Servant of the Dawn is not only this, this shrine that I'm about to show you with all oh, the custom music that I probably don't have installed, but... Um, eventually, uh, Snow... or not Snow, uh... Cloud Ruler Temple, you can just eventually take it over with the Mythic Jewel! Then it's really cool and everything. Here's a shrine. Here's a friendly little villager's hat. Hooray! And yeah, it's not that big of a shrine. Like, there's not, there's definitely not as much in it as um, that one quest from the main storyline. But you do end up with multiple hideouts, and you pretty much have control of everything. Like, you can even uh, boss the Imperial Guards around once you've become the High Chancellor, which is thoroughly amusing to me, of course. And make some skits a little easier to do. Come on. Yep, yep, there we go. And you get to hear Dawn is breaking and, great, and uh, greet the new day, brother, every 20 seconds. Hooray! But you also get an army of stuff, so yeah, I very much recommend it. Army! Bom, 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 bom. This mod is called Hentai Mania 2. Yes, I know. If you know anything about Japan, you know what could potentially... Wow, what the crap? You know what could potentially be wrong with that title. But no, I assure you, it, at least so far, it doesn't seem to be anything like that. I don't know. I'll have to confirm that eventually. But yeah, this mod is a... As far as I know, it's an adventure mod, but there seems to be a lot of custom items, as you can clearly see. I, I haven't really touched it at all, but... It was something I wanted to look at for quite some time, so it's going to be kind of another cop-out where I'm going to jump the gun and recommend it anyway, but a lot of people suggested this one, like, a lot of people suggested this one. <laughs> so I'm going to have to- Oh, she's taller than Zalos, that's a shame. But if we cheat- No, not really. So I'm just kind of walking around this, uh, Cloud Ruler Temple wannabe here. You know, it's better, because there's, uh... Custom stuff in it. Hooray! Custom stuff! I'm not sure if there's a store or anything you can eventually run into. What up? Do you do it? Where's this? This is your room. If you need anything, call anytime. Okay. Do, 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 do. I was probably supposed to talk to the lady outside the thing. Oh. That's a shame, but okay. Pretty much looks the same. I think it's got. A, I think it has even the same items, like in the same areas. Well, that wasn't too much originality there, but that's okay. Uh, I also chose uh, Hell difficulty, so I'm not. I'm not sure. I might actually end up doing an LP of this. I probably should just record my gameplay of it, and then if it's LP worthy, I'll throw it up on YouTube. But I did choose Hell difficulty for this, so I'm really interested to see what's going to happen. Let's check out the East Wing really quick, see if there's anything noticeable about it. But yeah, so this is mainly on here right now because I didn't want to have to play through it before uh, making my final decision, if only because it's taken forever to get this crap done. 
You have a pretty cool outfit. Let's see. There's that, that fast text thing, too. So, I forget what fixes that as well. And here's, there's a better potion here for me. Oh, there's a much better potion here. Wow, holy crap, I'm coming back here. You bet. The faces are pretty cool as well. Are they all the same face? No, I guess not. You're tall. Oh, you're you're uh, you're a reference to something, aren't you? Distinguished history. The order I forget what. Fi oh, I know what. I'll, I know what'll fix that. I just have to. And yeah. Okay. Never mind. Or do I? No. Someone better suggest it to me anyway, just in case I'm thinking of the wrong one. Anyway. Yeah. I'm making so much sense right now. I guess the first Hentai Mania added a, a lot more weapons according to the mod creator. Don't know because I've never played it, but that might be another one you want to check out. Now this, this is going to take us back to Blackwood. There's a no battle dancer. Can't predict what happened. Huh. Alright. Well, that's going to start something. I don't have anything else to say. Um. Oh, I also want to give a shout out to Going Rogue. Now, I didn't try this mod at all, but the person who suggested it to me, I did look through it and I read through it. And what it basically seems to offer is, it, it lets you be a thief, but like an actual thief where you can um. Whoa. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, what the crap? That must be the... I was just there, wasn't I? Okay, so that's what that, that thing is. Just kind of, uh... Alright, that's cool, though. But yeah, going rogue, it supposedly lets you lead your own band of thieves, or necromancers, or whatever have you, something similar to those factions. And then you can, like, outlaw yourself from the Imperial City, and rob people, and it's, it just sounded really fun and interesting, but I'm not sure if I want to try it out, because I don't really have any characters that I might want to use it for. And yes, I haven't, uh, I haven't put in uh, that DMC thing yet, which I may or may not go for again, but we'll see. Or maybe I have, but it's just not doing the thing. I don't remember. In any case, I have to fix it, whatever it is. Yep, yep. New computer. Hooray! Okay. Let's see, are there any other mods I wanted to give a shout-out for? The... The Mountain Tower mod. I personally got rid of this mod because I just had no use for it anymore with all my giant player-owned tomes. But if you're looking for a very simple player-owned tome, and it's in the mountains, as you could suggest from the name uh, Mountain Tower, then go for it. It's a small little abode, but it gets the job done. And... Theron! Theron was a mod I reviewed recently. I actually could... Well, I mean, I, I could legitimately probably show you that, but... I, my, my border removal thing isn't on yet as well, so I'm not really going to bother with that at this time, but... I did review that mod in full on the old computer, so you can hunt down my video for it, but it's another player-owned home that I highly recommend. For multiple reasons. And you get to play the piano in that mod. Yay! I have pilgrimage. No, I've only got to find eight more. Uh, ooh, yeah, ooh. People wish I'd do that. Okay. And actually, I think that's going to do it for this mod showcase. There were other mods that were suggested. By not doing them here, I'm not saying that they're bad mods or that I even don't like them. It's just, I don't know. It's, it's a weird thought process I used to determine what mods were going to show up on this showcase. And there's a fire over there. Yay, fire. So yeah, I want to thank everybody for participating in this year's mod showcase. I'm, of course, going to maybe do one in 2011. Although someone did give me a nifty idea for what I could do in 2011. If I'm still doing Oblivion uh, by that time. Nobody here. Unattended campfire! Oh, God. What the heck is this? Is this just a random camp? Shimon's Rock? Okay, well, fine, whatever. Okay, wait. What?
No, that's the same thing. Okay, I'm just looking in the wrong area. Yeah, anyway, anyway, anyway. So again, thanks to everybody for watching, suggesting mods, and having a good time. I hope you find at least one or two good mods out of this showcase that just really intrigued you or made you think, hey, I should pick that up. And I didn't go through as many. Some of them, like this Hentai Mania 2 one, I'm not even... I'm not really sure where to start with it. I, I really just threw it on here to kind of mention it and show off that it does have a lot of custom stuff in it. And the Smite of Order thing, it was pretty small, but it's really cool at the same time. Malevolent and whatnot. So yeah, hopefully the showcase was useful to you in some shape or form, whatever. Whoa, hey, how's it going? You got killed. I don't know who you are. Oh well. He can't be important, he's not a main character. Oh, your body's not dancing. Oh, there we go. Hooray! I have been Team Udia, and I will see you for more mob reviews. Probably going to do, uh, Heart of the Dead next, actually, because it's about time that I started going back to my recommended, uh, or my future mod reviews list. And now that I have the new computer, I don't care about file size. Hooray! I'll see you all then. Stalling, stalling, stalling. No, okay, bye. Teddy bear.